I always ask people when I talk to them, what's your goal? Like if I, if I come in, it would be malpractice for me to come in and, and subscribe or ascribe um, text messaging to your fundraising goal if it's just not fit. Like I don't want to sell you a product. That's not my goal. My Because you'll just buy it one month and then you'll leave. My company, we don't have contracts. We don't make it sign anything for multi-years. Like it, it's up to us and you together for us to prove to your board and to those that are that are accountable to your income, like how is this working and, and what can we do to enhance it? Now, it doesn't happen overnight. We do ask for a 12-month commitment, but it's not a contract and you're welcome to leave at any time. But we have what we call the get response or get results guarantee, which you're welcome to ask me about that. I'll send it to you in writing. But the get results guarantee says, look, if you come in and we identify your goal up front, we will help you as a company with training and webinars and workshops and templates and all that to actually do that. So these are the common goals that we most often get asked uh, about. Obviously, the number one goal that I always is we need more donors. Uh, we need a lot more donors. I know in my nonprofit, we had a warehouse that we would uh, we would meet at. What was funny is I always teased our staff that it would, at the end of the events, we would open up these big garage doors and everybody would shuffle out. It just made more sense for us to do that. I think we had three or four big garage doors in the in the 10,000 square foot warehouse. So we would open up the warehouse and then everybody would leave. And I would just come. And then so would all the air conditioning, by the way, which you think in San Diego, you don't need air conditioning. But there are a few months a year where it doesn't hurt to have air conditioning, especially in a metal warehouse in downtown San Diego. So all these people would shuffle out. And I would tell the staff, I'm like, boy, doesn't that feel like our marketing funnel or our communication strategy? Like we get everybody to come through the front door so we have controlled entry and we can get everybody to the right place. But then at the very end, we've got these massive back doors and everybody just leaves, which is awesome, but not when you're trying to build a donor database, right? You got everybody in one or two or three at a time, and then you've got everybody shuffling out the back doors and they're just a like big gaping holes. So I would I would suggest that while acquisition is a, something that's very important that we talk about, and I have examples of acquisition, we also need to consider connection. How do we drive conversation and connection to engage past donors? And then how do we move them to expansion? So if we can follow the ACE model of acquire, connect, and expand, and set up our donor journey and our communications, and make sure mobile supports that. If mobile doesn't support that, then we're in problem. We're problematic. Now, mobile.